to run, hold down left shift while moving. I don't think it's any, um, uh, I, I don't think it's any coincidence they told me that after I hear that scream. They're telling me how to sprint. Haha. <laughs> That looks like that's the front door. This looks like the... Uh, I forgot the name of this place. The front room. It started with an F. Edwin and... I don't remember how I pronounced that before. Enik. Edwin and Enik's Diary, October 3rd, 19, uh, 1899. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide-and-seek with Cook, and he came and shouted at us, just as we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy. Cook says it's because of the guns in there, but he always lets us polish them, so it can't be that. Anyway, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They're often angry, or that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling their chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like it in there anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Down. This way, Papa. Come and see. Down we go. Hello. Hello. It's like I'm inside of the machine. Like this entire house is part of the machine, and it's a break. King. What is that? Is that dust or what? I think that's dust. It almost looks like some sort of a poison cloud. Jesus. Grand Hall. That voice on the telephone. He speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth. I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man, grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me, I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If I can only find the entrances. Hold on, though, that... He speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I seem to remember him like a twin pulled away from the other at birth. Maybe it is me. How would I know? It could be me. Daddy. The front door. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work. Of course, it's locked. It's like no matter where I go, there's always a pig mask watching me.
I heard people... It sounded like someone was being murdered and having their skulls smashed open, but it also sounded like I heard people cheering. Hmm. Oh, it looks like uh, it's a song. I'm assuming song lyrics in German. I think that's German. Yeah, that's got to be German. Well, obviously, I cannot read that, and I have no idea what it says. All the silverware is set out, perfectly arranged, for a meal. As if they were about to serve food, but didn't. Okay, I can go that way, and I can go this way. Let's go this way first. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see what's this way. Ooh, actually, let me check out the fire. Finally, something actually comforting in this game. Ah. <sighs> don't really want to go down either of these hallways, so what the hell? Let's go down this one. There's another phone. <laughs> I was just about to say, is someone going to call? Mandus, do you know me? Who are you? Where are my children? Trapped, Mandus. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain the flooding and restart the great engines. How? Where should I go? Hello? Hello? Do I really want to restart the great engine? I don't know if I do. Although I suppose I probably have no choice. Whoa. Ah. Is this outside? Does this building have like an inner courtyard? It does. It's so big, there's an outside inside of it. Sort of. Uh, what's down here? I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, whatever. This place is quite large. Hmm. I win. This place is downright huge. I must say, my dear man, you, you look awful. Yes, I... I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled. Yet you 
and have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is a wonder for one man alone. It will all be made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. Hmm. It will all be made clear. I guess he's planning some big reveal. Some massive discovery. was that? <laughs> Once again, might be wine. Might be something else. That damn clock. At that. I don't know if that's a real thing, but it's beautiful. Talk about exotic. Alright, let's check out this courtyard. Well, it sounds very windy, and I've heard thunder. Whoa! There's my children! It sounds windy and I've heard thunder, but it's not raining. Trophies, or yeah, yeah, trophies. Shot April twelfth, eighteen ninety-two. Ah, hunting pictures. Giant anteater, April twelfth, eighteen ninety two. Hippopotamus, September fifteenth. 1896. It sounds like something's breathing down my neck. Wait, how come I can touch this one? How come I can touch it? What was that note? On bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, However did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibeth, my father's house has many rooms. And as for mine, well, it also has its secret chambers. How did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine how. The secret chamber, where you can use to spy on people. Hmm. The question is, who wrote this? She took my arm. So he's the one going around. My father's house has many rooms. Maybe it's his father? That was taking pictures of people and doing the creepy stuff? 
And the son? Well, I think I think your name is Mandus, right? Maybe Mandus just used them for traveling from place to place occasionally? I don't know. Some sort of a massive spider. Butterflies. Okay, I really want to know why I can touch this. What's going to happen? Grizzly bear. Shot June 6th, 1898. Really sounds like something's breathing down my neck. Okay, I'm going to touch it. Here we go. Oh. It's on tracks. What is in here? I don't know whether closing the door behind me is a good idea or a bad. I don't like long hallways. This is inside of this place? What? What is this? I mean, this is just straight up industrial. What is this doing in a house? Well, I'm not gonna turn that, I don't know what the hell it does. Now look at this. This is a massive amount of equipment. What is it for? I can hear notes, plans being written. Okay, well, I guess we're about to find out what this does. That's it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think I just opened something. Sounded like it. How do I get in there, though? It's coming from that door. What the fuck? Here we go. Oh! I'm gonna go this way. Okay. And we're back here. Alright. I turn that valve and I open something, but I don't know what. Now, where have I not been? I've been out into the courtyard. I'm 
been here. Now it's back to the main room. Oh, what about... Oh, I have not been here. December 20th, 1899. I am to have a visitor. The distinguished Professor... A? Did I say Professor A? He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I am not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me, to doff and wheedle and, my dear sir, and, but you must still grieve, and, perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice. But to refuse? That would simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusions. Perhaps I should show him the, tri the tripery. See whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily vivisected whores, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of his golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. Wait, what? I need to digest this. There's a lot of information here. Prolonged absence from the club. But he's here to spy. Um... To refuse would simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. Okay, so he's hiding. I'm, I'm assuming this is me, Mandis. He's trying to hide whatever he's found, or whatever he's doing. So he's trying to entertain him, and lead him on and make him think that he's getting information, but not actually showing him the real thing. Hmm. It's... I see whether his stomach is strong enough to stare into the real engines of his golden age. His golden age. What does that mean? The engines of his golden age. And Jack. Who do they mean Jack or his sons? Do they mean Jack the Ripper? Locks in the windows now when we bring their toy we bring their toys to them. Hmm. Okay. Locked. <laughs> More mirrors, of course. I'm sure there's a pathway behind them. Oh, what is this? Indeed, there is. Whoa. That is not wine. That is most assuredly not wine. It's a bloody, massive sledgehammer. The hell happened here? And that looks into a bedroom. There's no pictures in this hallway, though. In this secret chamber. Look at all of this blood. Leading to here. Another pile of dead rats.
That conveyor belt is covered in blood. The chute is covered in blood. Is this like a meat processing plant? A machine for pigs? Processing pigs or something? That's not to say pigs are the only kind of meat that could be thrown down a chute. It sounds like it's opening something, but I don't know what. And I have no idea how to get there. Well, I could throw something in there. If I had something. But I don't. Whoa, there's... It sounds like there's an electrical fire, or a short. What's going on out there? It's the lights. They're malfunctioning. Wait a minute. This door is locked. Hands are bleeding. Raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? This door is locked. And now there's a bloody trail leading out from it. Down the hallway. Something escaped. Another prison bed. Old Sally... I? Old Sally I the... Doll's Cottager? What? I'm guessing this is meant to be read with like an accent or something. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Oh, she comes snuffling by night round your door with her pretty apron right down to the hoof. Find her ringlets are fair and her eyes china blue like a half-buried hand in the wintry snow. Oh, I I'm not reading this right at all. Maybe this, this might even be meant to be sung. But this is obviously a story about a pig. She'll beg you for apples through the window ajar. Tab, snatch you and eat your heart. So look to your manners come the eve of the year. Lest to Sally come calling for apples, my dear. <laughs> Disobedient children make Sally her pies o, and warm Sally's beastly insides. Wonderful. I guess I'm going to follow the blood trail. <laughs> Have I been? Oh, no, that's where it goes. Okay. It's locked. 
Or, I mean, I don't even know if it's locked, it's just closed. Now what? I've turned a couple valves and done something to that area. Opened, opened something, I think. All right, this is past where it was locked. Oh. I am off the market. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have none. Off to the market, cry all the way home. Where does that sound familiar? Deeper into the machine we go. Oh, I know it's this way. The question is, what is it? A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discovered this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. <laughs> the descent. The dark descent. Oh joy. Is this another is this still part of the building? How big is this place? Locked. Well, that is not a comforting noise. I'm not going down there. No, not yet. Never mind, I'm going down there. Because everywhere else is locked. Damn it. Come and see, Papa. We found an egg. A stone egg. Have you? Don't touch it, please. What the hell have I gotten myself into? What have I built down here? What is, what is all this for? Well, shit. Now I'm stuck. Against the rising waters, curled into his cabin, he barely noticed the passing weeks. The swell nearly sunk her, but his fever kept it afloat. In the dark, his song, glowing.
<laughs> now that I'm even deeper, it feels like it feels like the darkness is even more enveloping. It's like it's even muting the light of my lantern even more. As if the light is just being sucked up into the void. Something's been chewing on rats. June 3rd, 1899. I realize now that my fear of dirt stems from a disease I contracted climbing those lost jungle temples. It is as if those clean places, so free of humanity's filth, imprinted, imprinted upon my soul and left it fragile to what I find here. A fear is what keeps us all in our places, and the fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh, is the greatest of them all. I am sickened. I am ruined. But I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. What plague? Wait a minute, what, what plague? Hold on, um, rats. When exactly was the Black Plague? I don't... Hold on, I'm gonna have to research this after the fact. Black Plague. When did the Black Plague happen? I don't remember. However, he's talking about a plague, and I've been finding rats that have been eaten. Which is making me think of the Black Plague. Hmm. It's possible, though, when he says the plague, and he's talking about the, uh... Uh, which is it? Documents or... Uh, found? Yeah. Uh, fear is what keeps us all in our places. The fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh, is the greatest of all. Maybe by the plague, he just means the fear of the flesh. Yep, and not getting out of here anytime soon. Come on, slow coach, it's this way. Trapped. Was it a trick? And that voice on the phone, who seems so close to my own, who seems to know me so well, does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. I really hope his, his name is pronounced Enoch. Enoch? En whatever. I obsess over those things even though they don't really matter. <laughs> the shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the flood waters. Treachery, Mandas. We were undone. Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deeper, Mandas. Through the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift, my little friend. We've been undone. You know, it sounded like he was trying to keep his discoveries or his work from other people. Maybe they found out what he was doing and tried to sabotage it. What is that? What is that? A thousand volt, is that a... A fuse? Where would this go? What would need a fuse?
there's another one. Strange. There's nothing there. I think I need a fuse for that. Yep, it's broken. Let's explore this first, though. Wow, there are a lot of fuses. Hmm, what is this? It's gonna open something. What is that doing? I think it's a platform. Yeah, it's lowering a platform. It sounded like something sobbing. Someone or something. It almost didn't sound human. Alright, well, it looks like a platform. And it looks like there's maybe tracks on it. Maybe some sort of a vehicle or cart. Locked. With wood. I can't quite get my hand in there to get it up. It's enough to stay locked. Alright. Let's pull that out. Ooh, what is that? The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coil about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to, to, connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun, and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Okay, here we go. Okay, nothing in there. There we go. Let's continue on down. Deeper and deeper. Bandaged feet and eyes. Small bones in the orchard. I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. I guess he's made a machine. A machine for pigs. And it sounds like that's his greatest life's achievement. Alright, definitely tracks. 
Oh, they're for barrels, aren't they? Wait, how does this work? Oh, can I move this and the barrels will come down? But why would I want that? Whoops, I just fell through. I guess so I can jump... I guess so I can jump down, or jump over them. Yep, there we go. We're just get them out of the way, that works too. Now here's another one. What is this going to activate though? I don't know what the hell that did. What is that noise? It sounds like the wood, uh, the wind is hitting it so fiercely that it's shaking the wood. Those cries honestly don't sound human. Okay, well I activated something down here. Oh, this. Whoa. You know what I just realized? It's two hours into this, and I forgot to turn my light off. My god, why do I keep forgetting that? Oops. Oh, crap. There we go. Okay. Oh god, I almost wish I didn't remember to do that. Oh, wow, this is a lot scarier. Alright. the next one. Oh, this one does need a fuse. Where is that coming from? Where's that noise coming from? It's down here. It's with me. Damn it, now that it's dark, I can't see my keyboard. Jur there we go, journal. <laughs> More electrical sabotage. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage, if somewhat repetitive. The stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. I think that was a little bit of like dark humor or self-reference about the fact that these fuses are repetitive. I think so. I think that was a little bit of a joke.
Not sure I want to debar that door. August 19th, 1899. Von Rickenbach? Hopefully that's close. Von Rickenbach writes of the Odai Force. Whilst that ignorant charlatan Blavatsky pontificated upon the soul. They're both cretin. Uh, cre Damn it, ah, I can't pronounce anything. Cretins? Cretins? I don't remember, I'm sorry. These are a lot of words that I don't normally say. To think one could strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard, without standing upon an architecture of bones. Montezuma was the wiser, but here, and our temples of steel, I've witnessed the severed head of a man, recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the, oh, of the Brennenberg's compound, I'll get back to that in a second, upon his eyes, and cry, oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, my dead darling Lily, it is too late for you, but I promise you this, I will save our children from death, and if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. Oh! Okay, so, Brennenburg. The castle Brennenburg was where Amnesia the Dark Descent took place. So apparently this is after Amnesia the Dark Descent, I did not know that. It is too late for you, but I promise you this, I will save our children from death, and if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness of this wonderful concoction. With this wonderful concoction. Maybe my children are dead. Maybe they've been... Maybe they died, but have been resurrected. I don't know. And I'm not sure I want to know. Come on. Don't malfunction on me. Alright. Oh, shit. That was not one of my children. Alright, let's go ahead and grab another fuse and let's get the hell out of here. Don't malfun- Don't malfunction on me. Don't malfunction. I just saw something moving. I think. Very far away, very faint. I swore I just. Follow us, Papa. We know the way. Oh, wow, these pipes are all broken. Yeah, there's been a massive, massive damage here for some reason. Something happened. This whole, just, location just, like, fell through. Rubble everywhere. Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? Enoch. And that's how you pronounce his name. Enoch. Okay. Alright, so it sounds like one of the children got into the chemicals. Wait a minute, have I been here before?
Hmm, I think I need... I think I need to open that door, maybe? I swear I've been here before. Actually, no, I haven't. I told you he'd come. Extraordinary. Quite extraordinary. And you built it all. Good God, man. You have been busy. It is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind. What else was I to do? Fall into grief, pine and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? Dying? All right, so yeah, this... So this was all constructed after his jungle expedition. Something about that jungle expedition gave him the money or gave him the idea to make whatever he made here? Or both money and ideas? I don't know. What is this? Some massive vault. And that is some seriously high security. And this is the scene from the menu. What does this do? Am I really about to just flip all these random levers and wheels and just see what they do? Okay. Oh. Uh. I'm stuck. Shit. Okay, what is... what is this? Uh... Uh, I can't move that. Here we go. I don't know if that's such a good thing either. Crap. Okay, there's nothing left to do but this. What the... What is this? What did I just spray myself with? Stupid thing. It's like a decontamination chamber. Why would you need to decontaminate yourself? Some extremely toxic chemicals or something? Flood breach, emergency shutdown in place. Looks like that building is highlighted. Hold on, let's let's look at what this is. If I could see, if only uh, is there a box? Ooh, what about this chair? This is precisely what a chair is for. Perfect. Okay. Factory. Factory. A bunch of factories. Looks like coal powered or steam or something, both. Uh... And then. That looks like, a, well, a machine for pigs. A pig meat processing plant. And what is this? That looks like a massive meat grinder. Wow, they're literally carting around bits of the ground up meat. Is, is is that seriously what he invented? 
a massive machine for pigs? Why? Is that his grand achievement after whatever the hell he found in the jungle? A machine for pigs? noose. From the window, he could see almost to the docks, where they were still pulling hair out of the gratings. God knows what it's about, says the paper boy. The talk is of murder. <laughs> 